Hi, I'm Todd with Whole Latte Love. We have Mark behind the camera. How are you doing today, Todd? Doing great, doing great. Hope everybody out there is doing great. Today we're going to look at two machines, we're both by the ECM company um, out of Germany. They're actually, the company's from Germany, but they're manufactured in Italy. The machine we have here is the ECM Technica, not the Technica Profi. The Profi has a rotary pump, is a next level machine up from here, and the ECM Mechanica. They look kind of the same, yet not the same. Yeah, they're very similar. Basically, this whole area in here, this whole front, and the internals are all the same. That uh, had to, it hasn't changed a bit. The only differences are really the aesthetics and the way the water reservoir fits in. So if you look at the housing here, you notice this is all curved. It's very uh, finely made. Mm -hmm. I guess you would say very high end. Yeah. yeah. Reservoir, open a little door to get to it. And the, and the reservoir can pull, pull out. I kind of like the door sometimes. Yeah, the door you is nice. You don't got to yank the top off. Yeah. Right? Door is nice. Does take away from your cup warmer surface area, but mm -hmm. probably not really a big deal. And then the reservoir over here, take your cups off and pull the top off, and then you have your reservoir right here. Same size reservoir. Now, you notice this screw over here. This is for adjusting your brew pressure. If you ever have to, or feel the need that you have to adjust it, for some reason it's off killywampus, you can do that just by turning that screw there. What's a killywampus? I don't know, but <laughs> in case it, it sounds good. In case it is. So basically all you do is put a back flush disc in your handle here, raise the lever up, pressurize it, and then turn this to this gets the 10 bar. And that gets you a nine at the group, it, is that the idea? It gets you a nine while brewing. Nine while brewing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so if you want nine, you set 10. Set it to 10. Correct. Back flush. Okay. Yep. Um, now the housing. So you look at this housing over here. It's thin steel. It'll be cut on a shear, folded around, and mm -hmm. highly polished. This so beautiful. It's nice. It is very nice, but a yeah. little different. That's just yep. more refined here. It's got kind of that thicker. Yeah. And then right down to the drip tray where the drip sure. tray's got the where rounded. This is, this is curved over here and rounded. Yeah. And you look at this one here. This is all squared off. But still highly finished. Correct. Yeah. Drip trays come out like this. A little metal slides on here for them. Mm -hmm. uh, two uh, a steam wand and a hot water wand. They are not no burn wands, so you want to use your little rubber grips here. And the main power switch that tells you the power is on. That tells you that there's water in the reservoir and it's good to go. And I like the the details, like on the porta filter handle, the chrome, and on oh, yeah. the lever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, know. this is that's yeah, very unique for ECM. Yep. Like they put the steel on that and a. It feels really good in your hand. That's how you know it's an ECM on filter. That's and then correct. They've also, they've got the little extra. Okay. Yeah, same thing there, and then a little extra on the uh, correct blow-off tube. Yep, they have a little extra down there, and a little and then extra top on that. And that's the same on both mm -hmm. both models. And then you're talking about the brute, the the pressure adjustment. If we look yep. inside, that's kind of yep. That's that's what you got here. So that's yep. that's that screw adjustment. Uh, you got a full copper boiler, uh, 1,200 watts, two liter. Vibration pump is down here on these mounts that are very quiet. Mm -hmm. Very quiet uh, for a vibration pump. We're going to hear it in a minute. Mm -hmm. We'll do some brewing and uh, Controls. Here. Got the Jakar controls, very high quality control system. They work with many, many manufacturers. So both machines have identical interiors. Correct. Yep. Yeah. Uh, pressure stat. This is not a Sarai, which is a commercial pressure stat, but you don't need it on these because these don't draw full amps through the pressure stat. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. These will last for a very long time. Okay. okay. Vacuum leaf valve, pressure leaf valve, just a bunch of safeties. Yeah. And uh, we'll show you the boiler, give you a better look at that. Yeah, I like the look of the copper. Yeah. Huh? It's got good foam insulation on it. Yep. And the frame on the machine goes all the way through, what makes it uh, so we can ship pretty easily without getting damaged. Mm -hmm. Of course, you have to be careful because the UPS Gorilla might be there. <laughs> the UPS <laughs> Gorilla? <laughs> yeah, but overall it should do really good. <laughs> But they're very solidly built. Yeah, 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 very. Okay. Yep. So that's it. We made this short, kind of quick to the point. Well, you're going to brew, right? Yeah, we can brew on these. Yeah. Okay. Brew always always got to brew something. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll... Uh, oh, you got your favorite Hario scale out, I see. Yeah, this is real nice. It actually has a timer built into it, too, which is nice. Okay. This is one you can use for like, pour-over brewing as well. Yep. Come to the whole stand and everything. Yeah. That's the Chiato E37S you're mm -hmm. grinding on, your favorite grinders. How, how much are you going to go? I go about 18 grams on this one. It's been doing well with that. Okay. So 
And we'll go 17.8. 17.8? We'll yeah, what's, yeah. what's 0.2 grams between friends? Well, now I have an excuse if it doesn't come out good. Yeah, okay. I was, <laughs> I was, off, huh? <laughs> I was off by 0.2 <laughs> grams. Okay. okay. And these are heat exchangers, so you can brew it, steam at the same time. And you're going to do like a yeah, that's latte a and a, and yeah, a macchiato. A macchiato. Mm -hmm. Okay. Twelve-ounce pitcher. Yep. Okay. We can watch as the brew pressure goes up there. Yep. I want to see the steaming. So this was a yeah. two-hole tip on both machines. Correct. Yep. yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna go back over the gauge here and see where. Right, yeah, right on nine. Yeah. Looking good. You're gonna attempt a little, little pour here and there. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. Here. How's the shot look? Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's coming out pretty good. Yeah. Always clean your wand. Always clean your wand. So we did a single shot with this one in uh, like a six ounce cup. Oop, messed that one up at the end. Mm. I don't care. <laughs> and the macchiato. Do you know macchiato means stained? Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, <laughs> that's the most beautiful drinks, but they should taste good. Yeah. Uh, so, okay, that is the ECM Technica 4, not the Profi. Not the Profi. And the ECM Mechanica. And the big difference, again, is mostly in that the exterior of the yeah, case. Yeah, exactly. So, That's all there is to it. Otherwise, they're pretty much the same. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm top of the whole latte love. Mark behind the camera. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy, free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. Whole latte love.